Hello friends, welcome to Shauna Stitches. I'm Shauna and this is my third episode in my series called State of the Stash where I'm tracking yarn in and out of my stash. I just started a few months ago, but uh, needless to say, what I'm about to show you is gonna prove that I went out with a bang in 2022. I started the month out so well. Um, I'm, I'm sorry for the crinkling. There is going to be a little crinkling. I will try to minimize that before I get to the crinkling. Let me just remind you that you can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as Shauna Stitches pretty much anywhere else. Links will be down below to things that I can link. Um, since I'm not showing you any projects, it will be mostly links to where you could purchase the yarns that I'm going to show you. As if we all need enabling, right? So the first thing I'm going to show you are my row one minis. These were the December 2022 minis and they are by RMR Yarn Company. Never heard of them. Uh, that is one of the reasons I do enjoy row one is because I find out about so many dyers. I probably should cancel this if I know it's good for me, but I'm not going to yet. All right, so that was 100 grams into stash. The next yarn that came into my stash in December, again, this crinkly, and I did not want to take this out because it's just so pretty. You guys, I won this. How can you say no to one yarn? Oh my goodness. Um, so 400 grams of Blitzed by Volenvine, which has sparkle in the sparkling cider colorway, I think is what it's called. It's so pretty, pinks and greens and mauves and tan, and I cannot wait to have a sweater out of this. Such a privilege to have won this. Uh, I won it for knitting the Travel Mode 2.0 and was picked as the prize winner. So yes, very, very fortunate indeed. So that brings our total to 500 grams into stash. Um, the next yarn that came into my stash is this beautiful orangey tan and yellow skein. This is SBY Fiber Mercantile. I have never heard of that. Um, but this is from a Instagram friend swap. Um, my friend Anna, who is Zebra Yarns, added me into a group. I don't know if everyone's from Oregon, but most people seem to be from Oregon as far as I could tell. It was a pretty small group and we all sent each other Christmas packages. We uh, were able to tell our partner kind of colors we like, um, what weight of yarn we wanted, that sort of thing. So uh, Nicole, Professor Pearl was my partner and she got this beautiful uh, scuttle sock for me. And it's in the Aperol Spritz. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. But anyway, I love it. Nicole, I highly doubt you're watching. But in case you are, thank you. I love it. Um, this will be socks. I don't know when, but it definitely will be socks. So that was another 100 grams into stash, giving us 600 grams in. Okay, and then, and then we went to Arizona to visit my in-laws. And... I looked up online like I shouldn't have uh, to see if there were any local yarn shops and I found one. It was Sedona Knitwits and I ended up going to the shop twice. The first time I didn't buy anything and I should just not have gone back. But the next time I convinced myself to make some purchases, I bought this Queensland Perth, which is a... Um, it's, it's along the lines of kind of like a spin cycle, kind of like a Zabra ball, um, that sort of thing. This color is called Lake Gardner. I don't know how to say that. And, but it's pinks and grays, really, really pretty color. I do have a plan for this. I want to knit a pair of mohair and sock yarn socks. So super warm, super cozy socks. That's my plan. And I got another color of the same yarn, but more in like blues and grays, purples, I guess, kind of a purple. I don't, it's not really purple. I'm not sure what you would call that. This is Fraser Island. 
And I don't know, maybe it'll be socks for Glenn or someone else. And the last one that I could not resist is this on light sock yarn in these really bright, beautiful colors. Um, it's so soft and squishy and looking at this, I don't know, the label says it's fingering weight. It seems like it's thicker than that. But anyhow, um, socks, of course. So that is 300 grams. So let's see, that's, that's 900 grams into my stash. And up till then I was doing pretty good. Um, then I received something in the mail, which was a gift. I received these two share a pair sets, which are going to be super hard to photograph or film. Um, these are from my swap partner in the, uh, between knits and pearls advent swap. These did not come with the advent package. She sent me these after the fact, which was so sweet. Joan, thank you if you're watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, she sent these because she had two sets of each one and thought that I would enjoy either them for myself or for giveaway. So this one, which is called Popsicle Paradise. Uh, these are by Mandy's Makings. I forgot to mention that. Popsicle Paradise. Joan and I are going to start knitting together in uh, April on Easter is the day we're going to start. And I think we're going to do the same sort of share a pair that Crazy Sock Lady has done where it's two rows alternating with alternating cuffs and, and heels and toes and all that. So that'll be fun. I've never made those. And um, this one, which is sort of a tan and a, uh, it's got brown and blue and a lighter color. It's called Fireside Friends. So this one is going to be a giveaway soon. But since it's not going out of my stash yet, it still counts. So that is 200 grams in. Um, okay, so all that wasn't terrible. I mean, it's not great, but it's not terrible. So that was 11. Are we at 1100 grams? I think. Then, um, I was, well, let's see in December or maybe it was just before December. Uh, I was having a conversation with my friend. Um, I've mentioned her before on my podcast. Um, her Instagram is Kaya used to be Kaya of Sweden and now it's Kaya and stitches. And then I think her actual name is Eva. So I don't know. Anyway, she knows who she is. Um, I definitely recommend checking out her Instagram. It's really awesome. But um, we were talking about wanting to do maybe an advent swap. She really didn't want a ton of yarn coming into her stash. And I may have um, screwed that one up because she mentioned that she can't get Nick knit picks yarn there in Sweden. And I can send her knit picks yarn. So I did. We're going to do some knit alongs in 2023, um, similar to the uh, share pair ones that I mentioned just, just before, but we're making up our own sets. So I purchased several to send to her. Um, and then I, so they were hundred gram skeins and I kept 50 and I sent her 50. So the first one I have, um, I don't have the colors handy because I sent her the ball bands. Um, but this one I know is a Hawthorne speckle. This one is a stroll. So that will be a share, a share pair set. That's a hundred grams. Another set that we came up with again, this is the Hawthorne speckle. It's got oranges and blues and blacks and this beautiful, that's a Hawthorne. This one is stroll, blue stroll. That will be a set and that's hundred grams. And then she had never tried Felici either because of course that's nitpicks. So she liked this color and we both have hundred grams of this one, which is, where's the color? Arcade Afternoon, yellows and blues. And I can't tell if that's pink or red. I still can't tell, I think it's red. And this bright yellow to go with it, which is the Fleechy Brittle. 
100 grams of that. So um, I'm not going to show you every single one that I have, but that's 200 grams. And then because I was making a Knit Picks order, I could not resist this color. I liked it when the Fleechy colors came out, and I still liked it, and so I bought it. And it's Lassie. So yes, 100 grams of that. Um, but we're not done yet. I kept hearing about this Upcycle Alpaca Blend yarn from multiple different podcasters. I initially resisted. I did so good, but because I was placing an order, I, I couldn't resist any longer. I got two colors. This one here is a worsted weight, and this one is a sport weight. Both the Upcycle Alpaca. I got seven, 700 grams of the linen color. That's the worsted weight. And I got 500 grams of the sport weight, which is called seashell. So they're super close, but they are definitely colors that I like. And that's two sweaters right there. So I don't know. That's a lot. All in all, 1,700 grams from Knit Picks. That does not include what I sent her. So 700 or 1,700 grams going into my stash. Holy cow. That's a lot. Um, but we're not done yet. Of course we're not. Um, I showed you that Bull and Vine yarn that I won. Anytime I win something, I just feel obligated. And I know it, it's not the case. Believe me, I know. It's just sort of like in my head, I feel obligated to purchase something from that dyer because how nice of them, how generous, you know? Um, so I saw that Volenvine was having a, I don't know if it's an end of year sale, but she was getting rid of second skeins, um, dye experiments, discontinued bases, and they were like such a good price, I could not pass it up. I mean, I could have. I just didn't. So I purchased four skeins thinking I would get all different colors, not having any idea what base, what weight, anything like that. But I assumed, you know, socks or a shawl or something. I got so lucky. I got four matching skeins of this color. How lucky am I? Um, this is a discontinued base, so I don't know what it was called. It's a 100% Superwash BFL, sport weight, and the color is called Leaves of Three. So I have four of those, and um, that should be enough to knit a sweater. So how awesome is that? I'm, I'm just so excited. I know I did not need to add, but of all the mystery things that you could get, this is a good one. All right, and one more thing to show you. It's another big one. 900 grams, 900 grams more. Um, Tuscan Knits, who is, was a yarn dyer. She's going out of business. She was doing a final sale to get rid of all of her inventory. And you could buy the yarn in 300 gram increments. The more you bought, the more of a discount you got, but you could only get up to three or you had to do a separate order. Anyway, of course I got all three because I wanted the biggest discount. Um, the yarn ended up being something like, I don't know, $14 per 100 grams. It was insanely inexpensive for hand-dyed yarn. And I put on there that I had a fingering weight preference. She didn't have to take that into account. Um, and maybe she didn't. <laughs> so I don't know. Anyway, I didn't get exactly what I had expected, although I didn't really expect anything. But... Um, yeah, anyways, let me show you what I got. I'm not going to show you everything because some of them are 50 gram skeins and I have multiples, but I'll show you each color that I did get. Um, so I got this beautiful one and it says it's the fuzz base, which is 55% superwash merino, 20% kid mohair, 25% nylon. So that could make some really nice socks, I think. And I was talking about making mohair socks, so... I got that one. Love the color. I also got two different colors of mohair. And I think if I remember right, I got two skeins of eight each. So this um, tealy one, I don't think has a, it doesn't have a colorway name. But the teal, 
I got two of this color, again, no name, but sort of a minty with um, yellowy pops, really pretty. <clears throat> and there's very much a theme here. So another skein of the fuzz base, but in this color, um, still nothing written on there, but it's a like a teal. It's very similar to the mohair. This could be my pair of mohair, of course it'd be like mohair, mohair socks because this has mohair in it. Anyway, that could happen. And then I got two skeins of this, which is lace weight. Uh, 880 yards per skein and I got two of them so over 1700 yards of yarn I think I should be able to make like a sweater or a top or something out of this it's really beautiful super soft very nice it's non superwash merino I got several of these maybe four if I'm remembering right um, doesn't have a colorway name on it, but these are the classic wool, which is fingering weight, 100% Peruvian Highland wool. So I should be able to do something with all of those. Um, I guess that's the mystery part of a mystery. You can't know if you're going to love it or not, and I don't dislike it, um, but it isn't this. This is just, can you tell that I'm happy about this purchase? Anyway, so that brings the total into stash this month of uh, 4,100 grams. Now, things that came out of stash were uh, 99 grams for a pair of vanilla socks that I knit for my father-in-law. Those have already been gifted. 61 grams for a pair of uh, mittens that I made out of the Knitty McPurley Advent. Is 68 grams for the Knitty McPurley hat. 84 grams for the matching cowl, 48 grams for the pom-poms on the hat. Can you believe that? Almost 50 grams of yarn for that, for those three pom-poms. Uh, 87 grams for the Zebra Yarns Advent Socks that I finished. 100 grams for the Cozy Knitter 2022 Advent Socks. And 83 grams for the Mint Rain 2021 Advent Socks. So 630 grams total came out of stash, leaving us with a surplus of 3,470 grams. Needless to say, December could have gone a lot better. However, I feel like it's setting us up for success or something that looks like success in 2023. I know I can do better than this. I, If you haven't already watched episode 67, I talk about my intentions in 2023. I'm going to touch on that just a bit here. Um, my intention is to finish projects that I have already started, projects that are on the needles. That's going to get a lot of yardage and grams out of my stash, um, hopefully fairly quickly, and to purchase a lot less yarn. Um, I mentioned on that video, my intention is to say no to a lot more things, no to FOMO, no to one of a kinds, no to some knit alongs. My goal really is to use my stash. That being said, I already know I have some yarn coming. As I mentioned before, I still plan on getting the Row One Minis. In December, I um, made um, not really an order, but yes, an order. Um, I was talking to Anna again of Zebra Yarn. She, uh, we were talking about a certain sweater design and I mentioned that I had no yarn to knit it in because it's all mohair and she's doing a custom dye job for me for some uh, mohair for the souffle sweater, which I'm super excited for. And so that's going to be coming in in January sometime, I assume, maybe even February, but, um, sometime and then I am starting the Desert Vista Dye Works knit along which is a 12 month year long knit along where you knit a pair of socks every month and I will be purchasing some of that yarn every quarter to fill in for next year so um, unfortunately she isn't a dyer who has uh, yarn in stock so you have to pre-order it and that can take quite a bit of time so it's best to have it in stash already so there we go. I think those are my plans. Um, I'm sure they might change a little bit as things tend to do 
And mostly I think by continuing to do this podcast and when I start seeing progress, I believe that that's going to help me celebrate the wins of getting yarn out of my stash, the finished objects, the finished projects, and celebrate those more than the purchasing of the yarn. Because as I mentioned in episode 67, I have realized that I get a lot of joy from buying yarn, pairing the projects, um, finding a good deal, matching up yarn with um, a brand new project that's out on Ravelry. And I really just have to slow down and look at the patterns I already have, stop buying patterns just because they're on sale, because I would definitely spend less money if I only bought the patterns I'm going to use instead of like pre-purchasing them and then either falling out of love or falling more in love with something else in the future. I don't know if everyone does that, but it's something that I know I have been guilty of in the past. So there you have it. Um, I think it's obviously this is episode three, so I only tracked three months in 2022. I'm not going to do a complete recap of, you know, yards or grams in for this year, but starting in January 2023 and all the way through that year, we will give a final total. Are we going to come out ahead or behind in 2023? Um, If you all are joining me for this, I really hope that you find success. I hope that uh, you can look at 2022 for the good things and not remember so many of the lesser good things. I think that's it. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you all. Thank you for being here. I will talk to you again soon. Bye.